recipe uh, that we're gonna make. We are going to do some tacos for, you know, it's summertime, it's party time. We're, we got about seven or eight people coming over. I wanna first say that, uh, just a quick backstory on this particular recipe that we're doing. I have a, a very good friend whose family owns a Mexican restaurant and one of the items on their menu is like one of my favorite tacos of all time. I asked his permission if I could recreate it. He said, that's fine. I said, did you want a, sh uh, a shout out for your restaurant, your family's restaurant or for you? He said, no, that's not necessary. Everything in this recipe is replicated as best I could from that, from, uh, that particular taco. Most of the ingredients are, are pretty self-evident, so it wasn't like I had to like steal their, their recipe uh, to figure out what the main ingredients were. But um, the, their, their version of their hot sauce, I wasn't gonna be disrespectful and ask for that recipe, uh, which is their secret recipe. So um, I told them I was just gonna make my own hot sauce. The tacos that we're making, it's gonna be a chorizo, grilled chicken, bacon, um, hot sauce with some cilantro, a homemade hot sauce, some, some cheese and some sour cream. I'm gonna be making and some pico de gallo. We got our chorizo going and we got our bacon going. Only thing we're seasoning the chicken with, Montreal steak seasoning, which is, you know, your basic salt, pepper, garlic, a couple other seasonings, dehydrated onion. Okay, so for the grilled pineapple hot sauce, this is the ingredients that you're gonna need. Pineapple, obviously. We're not gonna use all this. We're gonna cut maybe a couple, um, two or three segments. Uh, from that, we've got some some mango. We're just using some jar because they didn't have any ripe mango. We're not even going to grill this. We're just going to put it in the hot sauce. Uh, we're going to use three shallots, a little bit of garlic, maybe two or three cloves. We're going to use four scotch bonnets, three jalapenos, which I might just grill, get a little bit of color on them too. Um, and then four limes and about a cup of fresh cilantro. So only only thing else is we're gonna use a little bit of apple cider vinegar, not much, a little bit of water, and then throw it in this bad boy and we'll be ready to go. So let's get started prepping this. Okay, everything's prepared. All we got is the fun part. Let's put our tortilla on the skillet. We're just gonna warm it up a couple minutes on each side. We've got our homemade pico de gallo. Let's get that out of there. We've got our um, grilled pineapple and habanero hot sauce. We tasted that, that tastes good. Chorizo, ready to go. Grilled chicken, cheese. Lime wedge, just spr to uh, sprinkle on there. We've got bacon, cilantro leaves is gonna be our only like green or lettuce on there. One minute on there, that thing's almost ready to go. 
Thank you, Robert, for doing this camera work. Some of our friends already showed up. We've got a few more people showing up. So we've got a ton of food. As you can see, we prepared a lot. So this is gonna feed, this could feed an army. We're gonna do, first thing we're gonna do is some chicken. Go in with some chorizo. Pico de gallo. Um, I made a video for this pico de gallo, so you guys, if you want to know, we did a montage to, and sped it up, but if you wanna know like kind of the play-by-play -play of how I make this, you can check out my video on this. So a good amount of this, this is your star right here. This is what's gonna brighten it up, make everything like vibrant, strong. A little bacon on there, some cheese. Use whatever cheese you want, some cheddar. Um, we're just using a little white cheddar. Spritz of uh, lime juice, a couple leaves of the cilantro, and our homemade grilled pineapple hot sauce. You don't need a lot of this. I tasted it. It is um, like four alarm out of five. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can pick this up or it's too hot. Oh, that's toasty. Oh my God. All right. So let that sit for just a second. All right, so this is our chorizo grilled chicken. Get a close up in there, right? How's that look? Amazing. I think you guys want that bite right there. This is uh, our um, chorizo grilled chicken, bacon, homemade pico de gallo, homemade hot sauce, uh, cilantro and cheese taco. Diving in. Here we go. Moment of truth. out of sight. This is really, really phenomenal. Woo! Oh my God. That hot sauce is going to bring a little sweat out in you. I was worried about doing four habaneros, but a little heat, a little sweat, it's not going to hurt anybody. Um, the balance of the grilled chicken, the pico de gallo, the brightness, the vibrancy of the pico de gallo, and the cilantro leaves, that bacon for a little extra just porky goodness. This is, this is really good. Okay guys, you saw how we made this. Um, we hope you try it sometime. If you do try it, let us know in the comment section uh, how it turned out. Um, I love hearing from you, love reading those comments. So we are gonna have a feast. I'm gonna start cooking these up and um, we will see you on the next episode. So we hope you have a great day and uh, thank you for watching.